So I got all my props here. I got a camera. Okay. I got the latest version of Camera Craft Magazine. All right. I got uh, with one of my one of my most recent books. All eight hundred some odd pages of it. And if you don't want to read it, oh man, it makes a wonderful doorstop. <laughs> <laughs> or a paperweight. <laughs> or a paperweight. Oh my gosh. You want to hold documents down? This is the one to do it. <laughs> well, it's important to show people the difference because you can find YouTube videos all day long, which gives you 30 second synopsis of certain things. But the yeah. camera is so complex that a YouTube video just doesn't do it justice. If you want to do it right, you got to be thorough. Okay. I'm ready. Do your worst. <laughs> well it's morning here right now and gary's on boston time and i'm on las vegas time let me introduce my good friend gary friedman gary is a very very special person in my life and what's unique about him right now is that he's also an author and a reader uh, here on medium and so uh, I thought it would be great for people to get not only an author and a reader's point of view, but to be able to meet this very, very unique person. So Gary, welcome. Thank well, that's you quite for... an introduction. Thank you, DR. You're welcome. Thanks for letting us do this. We appreciate it. So uh, how did you and I meet? How long ago was that? Oh, I was your employee. Uh that was a long time ago. You were in charge. You were in charge of a dot com called Insure Trade, right. which had a really visionary uh, goal. It was the idea is uh, take the insurance underwriters and the the insurance agents and give them a platform to meet each other, and so they can uh, trade risks and let people know about the risks. and And uh, I don't want to get too much into the business model, but it was, it was a brilliant idea. You were my boss. You were a great boss, and. Uh, yeah. And the dot com, as brilliant as it was, went the way of all dot coms back in the early two thousands, and we don't have to talk much more about that. It was, yeah. Anyway, the the point being, Gary and I have known each other for years, and he's done some amazing, amazing things. Um, he has actually put those things that we call satellites. He's put them in the air. He's done that. He worked for JPL for a time. I mean, it's just a, you know, when people say, oh, that guy's so smart. He's my friend. And he's a rocket scientist. Meet my rocket scientist. This guy is that smart. I'm in the and, Guinness Book of World Records, too. Oh, get it. Don't go get anywhere. It. Okay, yeah. yeah Gary is uh, quite a guy. He's he's done so many things. And uh, we we're just attracted to each other, like, stuck to each other like glue we just uh, really bonded so these are nike running shoes in the 1980s right and i i i fixed it so you can actually take the sole off and you have little tools in here and the reason you have tools is because this other one um has a a, a fully functional telephone inside and it's got it was potted in plastic so you could actually run on it if you wanted to and uh, back in the 1980s i was really into telephones and people yeah. always asked me gary how come my extension in the living room doesn't work gary i got a dial tone but i can't <laughs> dial out so i always <laughs> wanted the same tools that a telephone company repairman would have on his belt and i had it here in the in the one shoe and then the uh, screwdriver wire strippers alligator clips modular plugs they're all on the other one here I had it wherever I went. Sure. This was the Guinness Book said this was the smallest telephone in the world because it was it was you know just building a phone was easy. I had to make it hard, so I took I took the 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 shoe with the thinnest sole, and I uh, I built the phone into that. So that got me into the Guinness Book. Nothing I've done since then compares. I disagree, but Gary is that kind of a unique guy, and he's had uh, other things that he's invented and. Was pretty active in the dot com era when we were all trying to get companies funded. Gary, Gary is just an amazing guy on so many levels, musically, uh, engineering wise, and most recently, at least once he stopped working for me, he became an author. Yeah. Oh, figure! I don't know how that works out. So, tell us how many books you've written now, Gary. I think about forty-three. 
and I'm working at number 44, 44 right now. Books. Now that yeah. sounds like a lot, but you have to understand these are books about digital cameras. If you buy a digital camera and you can't understand the owner's manual that came with it, you buy my book. And I go like an engineer, you know, because I understand the technology part. You go through my books and it explains every single feature in detail. And I, I have now amassed a worldwide reputation for being able to explain the most complex things in reasonable, approachable, non-intimidating ways. So yeah, every time Sony I'll, comes out with it, I will swear to that. I tell you, I will swear to that. Every time Sony comes out with a new camera, I write another book on it. So that explains the volume. Uh, but these books keep getting thicker, thicker and thicker because the cameras keep getting more complex every year. And how, how thick is that particular book? This one's, uh, there's a physical limit on how many uh, pages you can have in a printed book, uh, 800 pages. And this one's like 787. I, I came to the limit on this one. Um, <laughs> next one's going to be more. So I've got to make them really print that many pages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, these are reference books, right? Now, it's not expected that you'll be able to read from page one to the end. Um, the first four chapters are introductions. So here's a good overview of what it is. If you want to learn more about this, this section, this, this section. So it's a tutorial in the front and a reference book in the back. Well, as a Sony camera user myself. Yes. I can tell you that I have written, I have written, I have read his book on the camera that I have, and it makes it much easier to understand. So Gary's got a real knack for that, but he's got a knack for a lot of other things. He has been a world traveler. Gary does, uh, currently does uh, teaching seminars around the world, and he uses that uh, for he and his wife, Carol to uh, go and explore and, and enjoy the country in which they're traveling to. We've done that. Uh, at least before COVID, we traveled around the world giving weekend photography seminars. Uh, right. There's a streaming version available for it now. Uh, so that case, you know, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I got too many thoughts running through my mind. If you go to freedmanarchives.com, that's my website. It's a stock oh. photography website, so I can license my images to book and magazine editors from around the world. And I've been doing that for more than 20 years. Um, the, the, the books are there. Uh, the um, uh, the seminars, the, the, if you go to the very, very top and the menu, you can go to seminars. Uh, the weekend seminar was actually videotaped professionally. We rented out a, an auditorium for a weekend. And now a streaming version of that seminar is available, so you can see it in the comfort of your home. Oh. One more thing I want to plug, okay. um, Camera Craft Magazine, which is has higher print quality than National Geographic. It's one of the last great print magazines dedicated to photography out there. I am associate editor. Uh, this is actually originated in the UK. I interview um, photographers and uh, people who are doing really interesting things with their camera. I try to profile them. And I also, along with the editor, David Kilpatrick, try to offer technical insights you just won't find anywhere else. We, unlike other publications, we are not um, um, beholden to the wants of our advertisers. We have and, uh, very yeah, few I, ads, I, we are sub subscribers supported. That makes a big, a big difference. You know, if, if Sony did something really bad, I'm going to say so. Let me uh, talk for a minute about your... Uh, relationship with medium how did that begin and uh, what uh... well i've been keeping a blog since a photography blog since 2008 uh, mm -hmm. every month i post something that has a, a teachable moment in it uh, and i wanted to widen my audience a bit so i would take my blog posts and post them on medium as well and uh, over time i started to um, branch out uh, because it's not a photography blog. I can write about anything. So yeah. uh, I've written about other experiences I've had that are, I think, noteworthy. You move on about medium. Talk, okay. talk, and you, so you posted some of those stories from from your your blog over to medium, and then that graduated to what? Where'd you go from there? You just, you kind of stopped after a while, didn't you? you I stopped, stopped after a while. Um you might want to cut this out, DR. I wasn't getting enough feedback. So I figured, okay, well. That's fine. No, you know, new writers, I was very frustrated when I started out because I thought I'd made some pretty good points and things that people should go, hmm, that's interesting. 
I hadn't thought about it that way before. And so I was frustrated that nobody was responding. And I had like 18 followers, you know, that kind of crap. The feedback really does keep you going and it's essential. Uh, it says, and when you're building a community, as we're trying to do with Dancing Open Press, that whole issue of feedback is so critical. It's yeah. just absolutely critical. If you're a community, if I'm related to you and you say something, I'm going to go, really? What the hell were you thinking, Gary? That wasn't, you know, or I'm going to say, wow, Gary, thanks for figuring that out. Because I never would have. Thank you. You know, something. And that's the whole point. When we're in this as a community, we can say to each other, that was a great article, or really, I'd, I'd never thought of it that way. How did you come up with that? And Completely ask, right. ask the author a question and they'll respond to you. I have found that I benefit more from the negative feedback because it oh, encourages yeah. me to improve. Uh, was was I the... Yes. Was I the you were the guy who turned me on to Medium, yes. Yeah. And because of you, I started to contribute. And so um, as a result of doing that, <laughs> you you started reading, what, my stories? And yes. And maybe some others. Yeah. And I know you commented, and, and uh, you, you were very helpful. And Gary... <laughs> Early on, I, I I may have mentioned in another video that uh, when Gary, who, who was the one that pushed me to write, said, yeah, you can write, yeah, you can do it. And I thought back to my college professors and high school teachers and, and what they said about me, and I went, oh, good. Anyway, my first stories that came out, Gary would go, really? You know better than to do this, this, and this. And so that was all helpful. Well, yeah, uh, but I also, wait a second. It wasn't all negative feedback. I was. No, I was, no, no. It was a lot of positive. Your stories were jaw dropping regarding what your history was. And I yeah. think the, my my favorite medium posts of yours were the ones that talked about um, uh, your wife and what you look for and what, what it takes to keep a relationship going because you've been there. And that's, yeah. that's extremely valuable to anybody. 55 years combined marriage between two wives. That's. Muscle talk. Mazel tov, exactly. But getting back to you, Gary, so you're doing all these kinds of things and you're now active on Medium. I see you have your own account again and and you're doing things. Is your intention to write as well as read? I know you're a reader of my stories and probably others, but is that your intention or what do you think now? How does I, how does I, I intend to do a, a healthy balance of both. Um, I find that uh, whenever I do leisure reading, I always like to learn something. Um, yeah. I, 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 right now, believe it or not, I'm reading a book about the entire history of Western civilization art, uh, starting from uh, 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 caveman days. You know, how come cavemen never, you know, cave drawings, it was always about hunting. It was never about a beautiful sunset. There were no pictures of beautiful women and all that. Beauty had nothing to do with it. Why is it you could draw anything at all? Your life was so miserable. Why even draw something? And if you are going to yeah. draw something, why is it going to be you know, a, a hunt? So this is all... I'm going to give you my reaction to that book title, okay? <laughs> but I'll tell you why this fascinates me. Uh, because art as well as mythology impedance match with the way the brain works we oh. think in terms of stories we think in terms of pictures there is so much stimulus going on around us that if we don't have a mental image inside of our mind regarding how the world should work we can't comprehend it all yeah this is how mythology started this is how religion started this is why religion evolved thousands of years before science did because that's not the way our brains are usually wired it all comes back to this so that's what. So you 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 might want you might feel like you're falling asleep at the title, but it, it all is a web that interconnects. I'm sorry, you I, had a point to make. I, no, you're abs you're absolutely correct. I just look at my leisure time and I go, no, I don't want to spend it doing that. I, I'm retired. I can do whatever the hell I want. Anyway, 
this should give those of you viewing this video, probably all six of you, those <laughs> of you viewing this video, um, you, you begin to understand the depth of this particular individual. These are the kinds of things that really excite him and get his motor going. And uh, I think that's great. I, I love the way the mind works. I, I'm just always fascinated by it. But to see Gary uh, and what he does throughout his life is even more amazing. But Gary, uh, would you uh, kind of conclude here and say that medium is something that's worth your time or not worth your time? It's definitely worth my time because it allows me, in very short order, to get lots of different overviews of other topics I might want to explore later on. Right. They're, they're short and they're accessible. And, you know, of course, I, I, I get an opportunity to, to give feedback to other authors as well. But if, if you just want short takes to figure out what else do I want to explore, that's a perfect jumping off point for it. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. Just use the little uh, search, my magnifying glass, and type in your topic, and you you get stuff going way back. I've seen articles back several years, and have and have written uh, not written read several of those. They were just as good back then as they are now. Yeah, and a lot of more timeless. Search yeah. for, search search for spamming for a living and see what comes up. Oh. Yeah, but your name right there in a big picture with the red X. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gary, you're you're absolutely a delight. I'm I'm I have really two close friends, as you know, you and Gabriel, who I consider both of you like brothers. And I I really appreciate you for all you do. And I think you're a great example of the depth that's out there with readers and writers and you're both so it makes it even better well thank you very much and don't yeah. forget to visit my website freedmanarchives.com oh good plug good plug yeah f-r-i-e-d-m-a-n archives.com the images for licensing are there all the books on fujifilm and sony and olympus mirrorless cameras are there the blog is there the camera craft link for subscribing is there it's all there and the seminars right. Can I get tickets to the next seminar? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the opportunity, DR. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. And thank you for joining us. It was it's really important to have a reader's point of view as well, and you adequately provided that. But thank you so much. Thank you for being my friend, and thank you for taking the time to do this. Uh, likewise. <laughs>